Go around the table then, got makeovers. Let's start with Hugh. Hugh's okay. got his Randall and Hop Cup the season okay, jacket so on. <laughs> what would you do with him? Okay, so stand up, Hugh. Let me see. Come stand on, up, Hugh. Right, stand up, right. Okay. So Hugh is wearing a pair of brown shiny shoes with a slightly square toe. He's wearing a pair of... Turn around, let me see. Turn around, turn around. He's wearing, he's wearing a pair of Henry Lloyd jeans. He's wearing a brown and blue check... Uh, sorry, striped shirt down, and he's wearing a beige jacket. First of all, what I would say to you is, is looking all a little bit... Country casual, middle class. Well, it's I have Sunday. To say. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. But do you know what? You've, you've dressed up the occasion. I would like maybe. I would like to maybe slightly more fitted, maybe a little bit more Italian. I'm thinking darker oh. colours. I think you know, mix of shades of greys with blacks. I think would really suit you. It bring up that wonderful skin tone, which is obviously uh, infused with all the alcohol you drank last night, yeah. which is great. <laughs> and yeah. um, what I would say is probably lose the stilettos. <laughs> They're actually not doing that much for you. And also, and also you, you, your G-strings hanging out the back of your chin. Yeah, exactly, know. yeah. And should men ever wear aprons the way that referees do? It should well, be bizarre. Why know, not? Yeah. And is it true that, that referees wear longer shorts than the players? Yes, is right? just Why true, is that? Yeah, is there yeah. a rule for that? No, 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 I would say it was the other way about. No, I would say that yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. We used to wear wee tight shorts. Mm. Did you? But then guys like you... Exactly when was that, here? Oh. <laughs> How old were you and who else was involved? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about who else was involved, Gok Wan, you've already spread the malicious rumour that you were with three prominent Scottish footballers last night in seedy clubs in Glasgow. We need to Absolutely. know their names. Well, we need 0500 92 95 00. If you were in Glasgow City Centre last night and you saw TV's fashion guru Gok Wan with the Scotland players, tell us who it was that he snacked. <laughs> yeah, We'd love exactly, to know. Yeah. I did what? You what snacked. snacked. It's what a good Scottish word. We're not telling you. Yeah, yeah no, no. Up. It has something to do with. Tam, we... stop flirting with me. Yeah, got, got, got off with. <laughs> got off with. Snacked, I. Oh, yeah, yeah. Copped yeah. off with. Copped off with. Right. Right. I didn't cop off yeah. with anyone. I did try, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. Honestly, it was like a So, this is Premier Players, and you were not involved in a roasting Gok. We're appalled at you. A Gok roasting. Now, Tam. Sam, what was your first story of today? Uh, my first, oh, well, it's got to be front page of the Sunday Mail, robbed. Robbed. It's uh, all to do with the Scotland game, because we're all a wee bit hoarse uh, today after the game, and um, I don't know what you're thinking, but first up, I've got to say that we might be down in the dumps, and we were in the final whistle went yesterday, but Scottish fans still have the best sense of humour in the world. The final whistle had barely stopped uh, echoing around the stadium, and I heard the guy behind me turning to his wife, and he says, well, darling, centre parks again next summer. <laughs> 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 and I thought that was brilliant, yeah, you know, yeah. it cheered me up right away. <laughs>